to cup then sparkle. Oh, do I punk then? Oh, hi, everyone. I am Weapon Aiden, and they're playing my guy. Ow! I'm scared, okay? I just got jump scared now. Stop. And you don't tell me how to do my own video. Just, just, just. Just talk, okay? I, I already have. Okay, I'm Webber Naden. And today, we're playing my cast story mode. Part two. How much for an ice Yeah. What's that team noise? What's that team noise? Shut the door! Shut the door! <clears throat> Pull that silver lava! I got my hand! Okay, but who is it? Jesse? Okay, what? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, I guess I'm next. Nope, nope, not happening. You seem weirdly calm right now. Aren't you scared? Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't fall. I'm surprised you didn't fall. Ah! That's All right. <clears throat> I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. Oh, um, no. Excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people. Clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay. How are you doing this, white pumpkin? Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared. But now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just... A costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well, mission accomplished. Man, poor sparkles. Crushed under sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. Yeah, definitely really nasty way to go. Oh. I got not like getting crushed under any sand either, guys. Okay. <sighs> Anything? Nah. Looks like a regular old fireplace. Okay. 
Let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like is before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. He's back. He's back! The White the Pumpkin's, pumpkin's back. back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White oh, Pumpkin wait, costume wait. on an armor stand. Wait, wait, wait. what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the White Pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we've found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, Wait, you're accusing, you're accusing us? us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one, so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Dan. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. Okay. Right. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint is still everyone's talking about. I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. Woo! <laughs> I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I've asked Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Yeah, that sounds like somebody that does that over our place, too. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tribok champion. Huh. Tribok champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. You can go now. Damn. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you. Who's up next? Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello. 
I, I saw Dan on his way out, and I don't know what he told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not um, as much as the others, at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir! Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you! It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Ah, oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Ooh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average, average level... Moderate? Moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's strange. I heard from Dan that you were the tri block champion. Hey, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I wish. <laughs> no, he must be mistaken. But, um, I have seen Lizzie do some pretty amazing things with Redstone. Just putting that out there, if you're curious. Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest, you know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's worried about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Honestly, I think it was Lizzie. She wanted to get it back from Dan. Don't think she ever really got over him sniping her for it. Sad, really. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Just make sure to ask Lizzie about that magic arrow. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Bye!